Hello, good day to everyone. I welcome you to the another episodes on mold flow tips and tricks. In this short clip, I am going to discuss about the enhancements that are rolled out in Autodesk Mold Flow 2021.2 release. I hope you got a chance to download your copy of the new release and install it. As you can see on your screen, there are multiple enhancements and performance improvement done in this release. But with the lack of time, I am going to discuss on the key enhancements that I thought of showing it to the audience and getting their feedback. I am going to discuss about the burn mark predictions. So this could be very useful for the tool makers as well as for the designers uh, who are trying to develop a new tool or a new design. With that, let's get started with the demonstrations and take you through the workflow. I got here a uh, mid-size geometry which is 3D meshed with an gate locations. Addition to it, I also put an venting location over here. Let me take you through the steps for putting up the venting location or we refer that as a venting analysis. Go into the your process setting and the minimum requirement for it is that it should be have a 3D mesh and you should be working on the working on a fill flow, at least a fill analysis. Go into the advanced options in the process setting, into the solver parameters and make sure that you have checked for the venting analysis or perform venting analysis over here. Click OK, OK and come back uh, to the main window and from the warning conditions you select the venting locations. For the demonstration purpose and to save time, I already selected a venting locations. Now you're probably thinking that I have selected the uh, incorrect venting locations. Yes, for the purpose of demonstration, by purposefully I have chosen to select the wrong venting locations and see that the implications of it on it. So when you run in venting analysis, of course, uh, you get in results if the vent is not proper, you will get a short shot. Like in this case, I also received an, like an, a short shot and it could be validated uh, looking at my uh, analysis log as well. It has a short shot detected. Absolutely correct. Um, because I have purposefully put the venting in a wrong location. And you can see that at the one end of the uh, Part I got a short shot. I also got a short shot at the, uh, the tip of the this boss, as well as uh, the other end of the component. As you can see, also has a short shot over here. Now let's go and review for the the results uh, for the venting region pressure. This is a default result that gets generated, and you can see that uh, I got a quite a significant back pressure over here. So this, in this case, I have a back pressure roughly around like 100 MPa close to it, which is significant and that's causing a short shot. Now, when you are running a venting analysis, uh, the packing pressure has a significant impact on it. And the results which I am going to show you in the in next few seconds has, has a direct impact of the packing pressure as well. So when you're running a venting analysis in 2021.2 release, you'll get an additional result called as a burn mark index, which shows the index as an, a low, medium, and high. So what does it signifies is that high means there is a high probability of having a short shot, means it surely is going to have a short shot in your component. A medium means that is an you know, probability of having a short shot on it. Low means there is a very less probability of having a short shot and can be tackled around with the processing settings as well. 
but as I mentioned that these are driven by the packing pressure as well so if you are going to change your packing pressures uh, the intensity or the index is also going to change so make sure that you are using appropriate uh, processing settings or particularly packing pressure uh, to look at these burn mark index I would uh, request each of you to give and try with the 2021.2 release the venting analysis and see uh, how does it works for you I hope this short clip was useful to you and workflow was helpful to, to try it at your end. And with that, uh, thank you for your time and talk to you soon again. Bye.